and then Lawrence got in all his trouble and I got in a bunch of trouble. Like I got in trouble with him, like just stu- just the dumbest things, like not even doing anything bad, but just being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Dude, Jayla though, like I never had too much to do with him, but he, he lived close to me at some point over there. And there was like one day where he like literally tried to fight me in an Albertsons car park, like literally just ran and like <laughs> he had no idea I worked in moto and I'm like walking out and then he's just like mean mugging me the whole time. And I'm like, and I was, dude, I had, uh, I had Christophe Purcell try and fight me at Parlour one year in 2010 because apparently I've like banged some chick he was with. And, um, and then, so I was like, fuck man, I kind of always wished I had like the, I bash Purcell story, <laughs> so, <laughs> but I never got it. And then, so, uh, and then fucking, so J-Law is like walking towards me and I'm just walking out. And I didn't even know it was him. And I just saw this dude like just fucking staring me down. And I was like, dude, this guy's like kind of fucking creeping me out. <laughs> and then I'm like, I see it's J-Law and I'm like, all right, cool. I, I feel like I'd be down and th- throw down with J-Law for the story. And then he just like walks straight past me. I was like, that was a fucking weird interaction, bro. Like you're a famous dude. Is it the Albertsons you said? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In, he, in I think he had quite a few alter. Yeah. Uh, no, it probably been the like, uh, Scott Road, I bet. If you see him at Albertsons, dude, maybe it was. Yeah, because that was. Like, I think he had a few. I bet you the security cameras in that <laughs> shopping center probably caught a few J Lo altercations. <laughs> I just thought it was, it was right was... by his. I, I don't know. Jay, he was the funnest person to be around. Loved riding. Loved everything I liked. But then occasionally, like, yeah, you did. Somebody would have a story like that. I, yeah. You know, I mean, we had a we we fought each other a couple of times, but like, but we were cool after. But like. He, he every once in a while he'd turn the switch and he'd be mad at, I don't know but fuck, he was so funny man like he was a fun he was, I just love being around him I don't know it was so different from what I grew up doing like I had freedom this dude was just killing it on a dirt bike would just do the wildest stuff like get away with it <laughs> like we're factory we're Yamaha guys signed for like multiple years like, this is my boy <laughs> like, he's all he's so did we just become best friends oh man and like yeah but yeah, he would he would get in the small altercations for sure. I don't, where were we going with this? Oh fuck, I can't even remember. Now. Got off so on a, we on got a like super I, as, as soon as you mention his name, you're gonna go off on a tangent. Like Dude. the guy's just that legendary. Fuck, he he really is like a oh. legend of the game, dude. Yeah, but, he, so he got hurt. Yeah, yeah he, no, he didn't That's get right. hurt. He, he, you like, guys got in trouble. He, That's where he we were. did the rental car thing. Everybody thought I was in it. What? So what was the deal there? I, I wasn't even there. I pulled up after it was done. I pulled like my if I could should like airplane ticket records like i wasn't in the car i could name who was but i'm not gonna yeah yeah <laughs> but fuck that, fuck that Takashi yeah, yeah. shit. no no <laughs> like, you know i mean like i i wasn't in the car and then uh the next night like a a texas ranger was driving around with uh like uh, this guy <laughs> this guy was dri- okay so we we're at pit bike race it's 105 degrees uh freestone national and um me and Jaylon and like some girls and just a bunch of like just we got a probably a pretty rowdy group of people like laughing at the pit bike races just having a good time like and this guy pulls up in a golf cart and he's got a cooler on the back hey you guys want some beers well his I didn't realize this but his buddy in the passenger seat, seat was like a Texas Ranger or uh. one of the like and so he's like hey you guys want some beers and I'm like yeah sure whatever yeah like it's 105 there's no concession stands <laughs> I'm dying I just want water like I even I think I asked him if he had a water and he's like no just beer I'm like alright yeah drink crack one beer get halfway through it and the guy's like hey man how old are you I'm like oh man I'm 18 oh, and in the states you have to be 21 yeah. and then alright come with me hands behind my back in front of everybody and J-Lo who was 21 did the same thing to him and so it was just like that was like the beginning. That wasn't the beginning, but that was like the validation of all the yeah. crap that was getting talked about me already for hanging around people like, like you know, the rap I was getting for being around dudes like J Law. Yeah, yeah, dude. So then, what happened like when that with that Yamaha thing then? So like, what was the fallout of the whole rental car uh, arrested well, thing? Uh, no, nothing with me. I, I oh, I got like a twenty five thousand dollar fine for the MIP at a race, which that's fair. Yeah. Fuck, bro, 25 grand at 18 years old. I didn't even trip. At That's that what time. I'm saying, though. You were making <laughs> so much now, fucking Now I'd be money. like getting a lawyer or something. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, $25,000 fun. And I got a, thir- like, and a 13 week drug test program. And I was like, yeah, like some community service. And that was it. You know, like. No shit. Yeah, but which was a heavy 
a heavy fun for a like thinking about 18 it now. year old now cracking a beer watching his butt yeah whatever but I get it it was I shouldn't have done it yeah. I was 18 I was probably wearing my sponsor's but, stuff but hanging like out at what, a dirt bike what track what fucking 18 year old would like not not do that you know what I mean? A, a lot of 18-year-olds in my position would have been a lot smarter than me not to do that. I guess now that... But you know what, though? Like, you were the example. <laughs> like, you and J-Law, like, the kids now, we like, you guys we were. were. Sweet. We <laughs> just thought we were sweet or something. I don't know. We just... It, we Yeah, and it was just at that point where J-Law won the championship, and it was like our... We were getting too sweet, so somebody was kind of... I don't know why, who was really behind any of it or I mean maybe that might be just a stroke a stroke of luck and then Jason gets in a fight at Red Bud and then goes to jail and then they kicked him out of the AMA and he already like had that deal happen with Villapoto where he launched his oh. bike this is all in like week after week after week, <laughs> after week. Like, and so then like yeah and then he was you know I had to go to jail for a little bit for another just little altercation so it was just like it reflected it, it put me in a bad spot then the following year I get hurt like blow out my shoulder right like the right before supercross and had just a kind of a crummy year and just kept sometimes when it, it rains it just pours you know like yeah